Hello everyone, Jeff and Jay here with another edition of Jay's Big Adventure, Jay's the Fuzzy Guy. And today we are continuing to work on our 88 M3 convertible project. Uh, with luck today, we will be able to get the windshield out, uh, hopefully in one piece. And if we get really lucky, the dash will be out as well. Let's join the work already in progress. Well, taking the trim out, we have our first casualty of the build. <laughs> we just like, we cracked the windshield trying to get it out of here. Um, that's okay, it was pretty beat up. We're gonna replace it anyway. But uh, we're hoping we can still get the glass and the seals without spending a fortune to do it. But that is the nature of the build. Well, the glass is out. Uh, good thing we weren't planning on reusing it. <laughs> it, uh, it was really, really stuck. This gasket's really old. But the windshield's out. And that means we can now start working on removing the dash. We'll take the steering wheel off just because that'll make it easier to deal with. And then to get the instruments out, there are two screws up here and there are two bolts on the back of this trim panel. Here and here, and those go through these holes and they're just knurled nuts on the back of here. So with that trim piece out, now we'll take the trim piece around the instrument cluster out. We can pull that and with the wheel off, that'll make it a lot easier. With the trim removed, it exposes these two screws here. There we go. To remove these connectors, pry the clip up and pull it out. This, I believe, is the oil temp. There's another connector in here. This guy comes out. This guy should come out. There we have it. 191,004 miles. <laughs> all right, now we're gonna label all these for when we replace the wiring harness. And now we're gonna continue to work on the switches and the rest of the electrical connections. To remove these switches, you need to pull this trim plate off. Go ahead. And now there are four screws that attach the heater sliders. We'll take that off. We'll take the switches out for the fan and the AC and the temperature control knob and the OBC. And that's one more step in the process. The knobs just pull off and just use a bit of fuel line around the ends of the vice grip and just pull right off. The fan switch has a nut that just, un that just spins off. Now with these two screws loose, we can get to the back of the onboard computer or OBC, and that has the same type of clip as the back of the instrument cluster. We're gonna pull this black connector up and remove those guys. There we go. That one. Uh, this guy. All right. One dash panel removed. Okay, we are making progress on removing the dash. There are some brackets here. <laughs> They're all just rusted to death. There's some brackets over on the other side. This is what the bracket looks like. Uh, 
and same thing over here so there there's a bracket that goes right here and attaches here and then there's a bracket that goes on the back side of the steering column as well and with all those brackets loose we should be ready to go Kind of pulled it out, but yep. you can just pull it this way. Yep, and then you have to lift up to get to clear right. out. Hang on, the key is oh. uh, again. in the way. <laughs> you pull the Oops, sorry. Let's, let's look at this from the back side. Let's look at this from the back side and see if we can figure out how the duct ducts are installed. Pull this out of here. I'm gonna flip this around here. And what we're struggling with is this wiring loom comes up and goes behind the duct. Oh, here we go. Okay, come look at, it. look at it from this side. How about we just take these screws what out of here? Why, why do it the easy way? <laughs> <laughs> There's no fun in that. <laughs> All right, we're gonna. So what we're gonna what we're gonna do is take these screws out of here no! and see if that uh, gives us a little bit more room. <laughs> we'll be right back. Okay, so with the with the screws out and the clip out, here's a connection here. This should just pull apart. And with that out, I bet we can pull that end off. Ta-da! <laughs> there you go. This is definitely one of those jobs that the first time is the hardest. That means couldn't just lay that aside. That means the dash is out. And now we've got all of this wiring to tag. But man, we're, pro we're making progress. Next step is going to be the heater core. And that's going to take a little bit of time, but uh, man, we are, we are doing it one step at a time. Man, was that a lot of work. <laughs> we are making progress. So thanks for watching. Please like, please share, please subscribe. And we'll have more videos out soon.